I saw your show about tomato hornworms. It happened to me too. I have never seen so many. They ate all the green off my tomato plants, which they will do. Even the tomatoes. Yes, which they will do. Mm. Will tomato worms infect the dirt where they were? And this is from Bobby in Crump, Tennessee. Mm. So, here, we'll start with you. What do you think about that? Will they infect the dirt where they were? Now, you define infect. Yeah, you know? right. So, right. yeah, um, they do pupate in the soil. Mm -hmm. So... I guess we could call it infection. I don't know how you would treat them as pupa in the soil. See, I don't either. So no. not in the soil. No. Mm -mm. But so, so yes, they're down there. They're down there. They're in the soil is where they mm -hmm. pupate. But yeah, I don't know how you would treat for them down mm -hmm. in the soil. Well, I read that uh, one of the best things to do in a situation like that is just to till up the soil mm -hmm. and by where where the the plants were, because that's where they're going to be congregated. Right. And. Uh, it's most of the uh, information I looked at said so it gets about 90% of them. Hmm. But I'm also a firm believer in prevention. You know, the old expression, an ounce of prevention worth a pound of cure. Mm -hmm. So using a product like BT, which kills them when they're very in a small stage, then you broke the life cycle. Mm -hmm. And uh, you do that for like two years in a row. And, and uh, I haven't seen hornworm in my vegetables in years. So treat the foliage before you see the damage. But they do have to eat some of they it, eat it before that'll kill them. But you try to, get, uh, hopefully you get them when they're really tiny because yes. the eggs are laid underneath the leaves mm -hmm. on the bottom side of it. Right. So if you can get them where they're still in the infant stage, there's going to be very little damage. 